I'm Jonathan Boas, one of the partners of JF Boas and Sons. We've farmed in Worcestershire since about 1968. We farm around about 600 acres. 200 acres of it would be permanent pasture, uh, which is a low input system, uh, which we make hay and graze sheep and that on. Um, the rest of it is in arable uh, grass rotation, uh, of which we like to have about a 50-50, about 200 acres of uh, grass lays and 200 acres of um, cereals, which we rotate on a four yearly basis in an ideal world. Of course, that often goes off the rails when we get these uh, terrible climatic conditions we've had to contend with of recent years. We look at that then and, and think, well, what can we do with this? with the view to um, getting something good out of, out of a disaster and we found that using the green manures to be very beneficial uh, for the subsequent cr crop and it's maintaining the organic levels in the soil which is something that we've been endeavouring to do now for many many years having learnt the lesson probably 30 years ago that you just can't take soil organic matters for granted. If you keep on this cereal production and don't introduce any farmyard manure or, or grass lays or something like that, the soil will basically die on you. And then, though it is possible to grow a crop off it, it isn't easy. Uh, you're fighting the elements, you're putting a lot of stuff on, which really is not always desirable, but I think you can achieve the same level of success growing crops in a much more environmentally friendly way by putting these green manures and these grass lays in and that. This is a lucerne clover mix which appears to have done very well. We've topped it twice. It was only planted about last April. Uh, we've just mowed it now which is a little bit late. We hopefully will manage to conserve it somehow or other. But the primary purpose of this is to get some life back into this soil because this particular farm, uh, which is a bit of an outlying one, has, has not had any grass on it now for probably six or seven years. It seems to be working reasonably well for us, but uh, as I said, this is a new venture. We've been mainly clover, rye grass lays before, which we know works and probably should stick to what we know, but I'm a great believer in trying all sorts of different things really, because at the end of the day, if you don't try it, you're not in a position to judge it, are you? And everything fits differently onto different farming systems. What we did with it to establish the crop was we basically went over the surface with a, a row terror and then we spun the material on. I think it was probably about the end of March. Came very, very well, really. Um, we've topped it twice earlier on to control some of the weeds that were growing in it and I think we've managed to deal with those quite successfully. Um, so next year we hope it will come into full production. I mean this is a bit, if, if we don't manage to conserve this what we should probably do with it is spread it and chop it and return it to the soil this year and cut our losses because we think that would be very beneficial but there's some nice material here if we get the right weather we can still make some good stuff out of this. Uh, and it's also obviously very evident that the soil is enjoying this. We've had a bit of a dig in here and there's some good root structure in this. And I'm thinking probably when we revert back into wheat in say three, four years time, the field will be in a lot better condition than it was before. That's our thinking on this matter anyway.